back. All right, I'm the only one that went analog with the uh, speech. All right, so I, uh, I wrote a poem, and then I want to follow it up with a, a pretty short speech. You know, I don't think it's much of a time. I wrote this poem a while ago. I, uh, I kind of got inspired. As I, I wrote this poem a while ago. I kind of got inspired. Um, by the tragedies I witnessed in uh, North Dakota last year, and uh, really kind of set me on fire in my own kind of Force Awakens moment, if you will. Um, so this, uh, I call this together. Um, I am a man, and I can change my destiny, even if breathlessly, chasing a dream beyond the scheme of brainwashing corporatists who give me a list of values they hold of rot and of mold, which destroy Earth Mother and turn brother against brother, to keep us separate so we do not venerate our collective will. Instead, we toil and we till the muck in our face. Instead of values, we disgrace human values for race. The stories which divide, told by people who are snide, connected us to the system, hopelessly devoid of reason. We fight for our oppressors, labeling us as aggressors, pitting dog to attack man for oil, for oil profits for the Ku Klux Klan, who claim spiritual superiority in the name and authority of money and idiocy, stealing our liberties with glee, poisoning our air and water, bankrupting us when seen by a doctor. Our lives all matter, yet the oligarchs get fatter on our being divided, seemingly self-guided, preventing us from banding together to create a better way forever. We're told capitalism is pure, yet it is used to secure a ruling class of booted thugs who shoot their bulleted slugs at our beautiful people while they kneel at a steeple with their pseudo morals and ultimate goals to enslave all civilization while presented as a bastion of ethical purity, confusing with obscurity. And yet we have the power to overthrow the ivory tower of hate in pain and agony inflicted upon you and me. A wise man once said, before he was dead, an injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Are white people so dense, thinking they need a fence between them and black and brown bodies akin to Jews and Saudis? And are black and brown alike so jaded only an airstrike can bring us together while we murder our values fester? Is this all we have in store rich making slaves of the poor, because we are also easily distracted by policies purposely enacted to create a biblical teeth gnashing, encouraging the head smashing of the poor against the poor, so we don't demand more. Yet if we aren't so easily distracted, we find our own policies enacted that encourage economic growth and healing this earth which we betroth to our next generation of hope, altering their path from a downward slope to become better than we have proven, we men and we women can be strong enough to call crony capitalism's bluff and demand a better way, for all have a right to stay on this beautiful earth where a human you have worth. We, may, we are the many, we hold the power. It is not ivory, but an obsidian tower that perverts our values all for monetary value. The time is always right to do what is right. Workers of the world unite. Nothing to lose, but the chains held tight. We know our enemy. It's time to fight. Yeah. So short speech. What it means to be patriotic is to be intolerant of intolerance. This is the paradox of tolerance. If you are a 100% tolerant society, the intolerant will ruin it. We now have Nazis on the street openly mocking us by flying their treasonous flag. Nazis are people who advocate for the murdering of anyone who does not look or think like them and the example given forth to us as a society is the Holocaust. This is disgusting, and this scares me, and I'm white. How is it that my people, my white ancestors, and the white people today somehow support this craven and amoral way of thinking that ruins our humanity and corrupts us to the core? This belief that leads to legislative actions that prove this, uh, to prove this pseudo-truth, that we are somehow better. And when we legislate these actions to help us, to enable good white folk, we legislatively undermine minorities and communities of color. We then call this a meritocracy. I may not know what it is to be a World War II veteran, 
but as an Iraq war veteran, I know what it is to go to war. I thought we fought a war against the Nazis and decided this matter decades ago. How is it we come to this place and now the thing to do is to somehow be a Nazi, and that's, and that's cool. I'm with Brad Pitt from Inglorious Bastards with this one. Now, did Obama's blackness, Infowars craziness, and Fox News craven repetition lead to a revolt against them colored folk who dared think that they were the same as a white man? I thought we fought against Nazis and put this shit to bed. I thought we were better as a society. And so I look at the legislature and I ask myself, how do these so-called representatives help minorities? And I look to the LGBTQ population and how they're treated. And I look at Patrick Harmon and how he was treated. And I look at Bears Ears and the Inner Coalition of Tribes in Standing Rock and how the Lakota were treated. And I realize that these legislators up on the hill, as well as in the White House, are not just part of the problem, are not just part of the hegemony, but they are the orchestrators of it. If regular people like you and me don't join the system by running for office and changing it from within, we will be lost. If regular people like you and me do not attempt to inject our humanity into this depraved and craven system we have now, our children will be lost. We owe it to future generations to not let corporatists ruin Earth in its habitable form. We owe it to ourselves to turn the very mechanisms these billionaires have used to pervert our system and use it against them. And all the power they have amassed will be as ashes in their mouths. Vote. Run for office or volunteer for those who are. Speak to your party leadership, whether you're a Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Green Party, Democratic Socialist. We have a responsibility to humanity and to ourselves. Run for office and let's show that purposely used wedge issues. Sorry. Run for office and let's show that when the people unite and do not allow ourselves to be separated or divided by purposely used wedge issues, we will all do better through economic justice and ending our parasitic system once and for all. Thank you.